This is when we needed someone to follow us with a camera because we just went through the most. Good morning, guys. I know we have not vlogged in a very, 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 very long time. And to be completely honest, part of it and majority of the reason is because of me. Hey, baby. I really haven't been feeling like vlogging. Um, you know, Jamila and I are going through a lot of different changes and things, and I'm just really trying to, um, damn, my nose looks huge. Trying to enjoy the moment um, and not do everything on the camera, on social media, and things like that. Of course, we love you guys. We miss you guys. Um, we have some great ideas of things and videos that we want to do. So eventually, we're going to get those out there. But I just think right now, there's not going to be any type of consistency on when we're going to put out videos. So, you know, turn your notifications on. Make sure you subscribe because when we drop, we'll drop. So, um, just wanted to let y'all know that, but we do absolutely love you guys. Actually, if you guys can do me a huge, huge favor, okay? Um, we got a lot of new subscribers from the Team Two Moms Day in the Life video that we did. If you are part of our Love and Labels team and you have not seen our Day in the Life that we did on Team Two Moms channel, um, we'll go ahead and put the link below in the description box. So you may have to press that little arrow expand the box and the link will be below but um for our new subbies welcome and um we're gonna do a q a video um, i love doing the q a videos but what tends to happen when we do these type of videos we get questions on every single social media outlet so i want to streamline it and streamline it and just have it all go to our love and labels tv on instagram go ahead and follow us we've been following everybody back Put your questions in the DM. Send us a direct message. We'll go ahead and do our Q&A from our Instagram Love and Labels TV page. So if you want your question to be answered, make sure you send the direct message, not to my page, not to Jamila's page, but to Love and Labels TV on Instagram. Make sure you send us the message on Love and Labels TV Instagram and we will do the Q&A. So, Promise y'all that. That's the next video I could definitely promise y'all. But, all right, so today's Saturday morning or whatever. My wife went out last night to um, hang out with her friends to celebrate one of her friends' promotion. I feel like she came home early or either I was just knocked out and it didn't seem like she was gone too long. But she was snoring like a grown man all night long. Like, woke me up several times. So... Normally around this time, I'm extremely hungry and I need to eat ASAP. So um, there's this restaurant called J. Christopher's. If you are in Atlanta, you may have heard of it. It's a little breakfast spot. It's open until two. So I just said, bae, get up. I'm hungry. We need to go to J. Christopher's. You need to take me because this is the payback. I didn't get no sleep. You're not about to sleep in, bro. So she's upstairs in the bathroom with the door locked, pouting, but I'm already fully dressed. And ready to go she thinks i'm playing this is not a game i'm about to go walk this little baby right here and then i'm going to bang down that bathroom door because it's time to go but i'm sure she will have her own commentary in regards to why i woke her up at seven something this morning but um i want some french toast and hot chocolate with extra whipped cream so she got like legit 20 minutes to get in this car or else but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and walk the baby or whatever um and i will be back once i get the wife with me later hey y'all so we made it to the vehicle crabby patty told me she checked in with y'all first why are you gonna call me a crabby patty man my nose can get no babe when I was recording, it looked humongous. We're, we're recording now, baby. So, Sequina so woke me up, and you know, I've always been taught you're supposed to wake people up like 
gently, kindly, so as not to alarm them. She just said, you need to get up and take me to J. Christopher's. Which I thought was rather rude. But here we are. Tell them why you got woken up. She said I was snoring. What happens? People snore. I can't ever remember a time that we're out the house. Like this is 8.40. Like maybe if we have to drop someone off at the airport. What other time are we up this early like leaving the house? Then I knew she was serious because um, typically I walk Capriya in the morning on the weekend. We have like a schedule and she had already walked Capriya. So that meant serious business. She was ready to go. She was sitting on the bed while I was getting ready. So it was like no time to put on makeup or anything. to a dinner. I thought we was going to eat fried chicken. So yeah, so that's the plan. Jan, and I need to get my nails done sometime this weekend. We also have to go to our favorite place. What's that? Costco. They've already told them we got to go to Costco. You did not. I did. I said we have to oh, go to Costco. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You did just say that. Alright, y'all. We'll check in with you. <laughs> My beautiful wife enjoying her breakfast. And I got my hot chocolate with extra whipped cream. What kind of coffee are you drinking, babe? Um, this is just a regular coffee. I didn't get anything special. Just putting a little cream up in it. Alright guys, so we'll get back with you once we get our food. I got maple French toast with my two pieces of sad bacon. <laughs> I ate all my whipped cream. What you get, babe? Looks like grits, bacon, jalapenos, and a little sprinkle of cheese. Yeah, it's just a. And wheat toast. Okay, y'all. So, let's see. We finished eating. How are you? How are you and <laughs> baby Brown doing? Good. Okay. So I purchased this clock um, to go above our fireplace about two weeks ago. So I called um, and I had it shipped to Kirkland's, um, shipped to the store. So I called them. This is them. when we needed someone to follow us with a camera because we just went through the most, okay? So the box wouldn't fit in the, in the car, in the vehicle. So I took out my knife that I had on hand, my keys. Bust open, open the box, and we're like right in front of the store, and so we're like trying to rush. So it's like we're opening up the box, and then the clock is taped to the box on the inside. It's styrofoam falling watching. everywhere. It's just, it was just dramatic. And so then she drags the box to the dumpster because there was a dumpster near the store. So there's the clock. We had to put it in the it's car. It's a little hard to see without the they go. box. So then we realized that we need to go to Home Depot to get a good nail for said clock. <laughs> Where else? We went to Costco. Racked up in Costco. Mm, got a couple um, champagne bottles for Thanksgiving. I still didn't get Guys, I want this big teddy bear. It's like bigger than Jamila. It's like 5'2". <laughs> for baby brown just like to sit in her room because i remember when i was the only child i used to talk to my shoes so for a while you know maybe for like a year or two she's going to be the only child until jamila conceives so she's going to need a friend to talk to she's going to have friends we have friends that a lot of our friends have had babies she's going to have those children as her friends she's going to have me and she could have also had the teddy bear that she talks to in her room. You were talking to shoes? So you had toys. Why did you choose shoes? Oh, that was weirdo, but I had a love for shoes at a young age, I guess. 
So Costco didn't have, I wanted to get grab their pasta salad. They have this really good um, Greek pasta salad. And oh, so you knew what you were looking for. Yes. I, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And it, it is usually like a good size for $13, $14. It's like good to bring to a party. And I was going to like pour it in one of our um, nice serving well, serve, you know, you serving wear. get that back. You know, we might have should have bought Tupperware, a nice Tupperware to keep. Oh, hell no. I was going to get that back. At my goal last year was to have was to purchase um is it called serve wear or serving wear? Um that it's like bake wear but you can still bake it and it still looks nice to display the food. So Macy's had a real good sale so I bought a set. So that's why I'll be using this Thanksgiving. But that's what I was gonna do. Um you know, pass off the pasta like I made it. Anyway, so now we have to go to Publix because Costco didn't have Costco had everything, so I don't really like turkey, but for $29.99, they had this nice size um, turkey. They seasoned it, but of course you got to season it yourself when you get home. But it was seasoned, and underneath it had stuffing, which I thought was pretty good if you're feeding a lot of people, just to have that. If you're already cooking a lot of different things from scratch, just to have that one thing that you can throw in the oven that you already know is going to fill up people, because that's like a second or third meat item. So I thought that was pretty cool, just in case y'all looking for stuff for Thanksgiving. Costco also has a huge pumpkin pie for $10. A huge no, apple no, pie. That pumpkin was $5.99. It's a huge pumpkin pie. I know a lot of people don't like pumpkin pie. I like sweet potato pie. To me, they taste the same. All I taste a little different is a little, little I want nutmeg. I patty pies. Matter of fact, we might have to tell Raggy to go to Walmart and get the patty pies. Okay. Or give me the money, I'll go pick them up. Ain't them patty pies two dollars? I don't know. But they had peach cobbler. She got a regular. Um, I want a chocolate silk pie. I already scoped Publix out. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get some stuff while we're in here. Jamila's cooking dressing for the first time, y'all. I'm nervous. I'm nervous too. <laughs> no, because okay, so for dressing, I'm going. When, my, when I used to watch my grandma make it, she would use hens. I don't like cooking hen because the little body tail. look like a little baby body and it has a little tail. It makes me nervous. Anyway, so I'm going to get some um, some turkey wings and have those cook overnight. And then I have to make cornbread, chop the cornbread up, do your onions, green, red pepper, um, season that, break the cornbread up, pour the juice over into the dressing, and then break up the meat put, put the meat over there mix it all up like well, that well just make sure it ain't dry and then bake it it's not gonna be dry right mm -mm, i'm gonna use the um juice that i used to cook the um turkey legs in well you need a lot of juice you need a lot of juice so yeah so that's my plan on the dressing if anybody has to, wants to share any recipes or any additions let me know um i don't like sausage in my dressing or stuffing or anything this is not a stuffing situation this is a dressing situation so you just not gonna let me over okay it's fine you want to go home depot first right I'm, do you think i'm looking very light-skinned no but why are you looking at me like this is a serious matter Looking at my face. You look beautiful, girl. Thanks, you look like girl. my beautiful white girl. I am your wife. My baby mother. Ooh, wellies. I have not been able to eat Mexican my whole pregnancy, and I was eating willies like every day, y'all. They have this, I think it's called, a, I don't know if it's a Baja burrito. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Goodness, it's so amazing. But let me tell y'all something. I've gained some weight messing around with Sequina in this pregnancy. No more. It no more. I'm gonna have to be strict even over the holidays. I'm not playing. Don't tell them what happened on November 16th. What happened on November 16th? Oh, so we're laying in bed and Sequina's been saying that she can feel um that is my car. Oh my God, hello. How are you? Oh, she's tiny just like me riding in the car. I look like that in the car? Like y'all, the window's like right, like this is the top and bottom of the, of the window. She's like right here at the very bottom. That's like me. 
Okay, anyway, so on the 16th, we were laying in bed as we typically do. Sequina had her stomach out as she typically does, and she says that she feels baby brown moving. So I was just thinking this is still something that she could feel and that I couldn't feel, but I guess it, um, a baby was turned up having a good time. So I put my hand right there and I could feel her kicking. She homegirl was like turned up. Ma'am, that's what up. you're gonna do? That's what you're gonna do? Look at our amazing holiday appliance savings. We don't need any appliances. So yeah, so we felt her kicking and it was exhilarating makes you love her even more and like how could you love her any more than you already love her that little cutie patootie just can't wait to see her little face kiss on her little face what's this tent back here um will you go pick out your christmas trees i want to go we already have a christmas tree an artificial one i just like the smell of christmas trees Okay, y'all, so I gave y'all the rundown if you have a Costco near you, so you you should probably go check that out. See, this Save is the most, money. let me tell y'all something. This is the most confusing thing. I've just seen a couple do what Jamila and I do all the time. When you get out of the car and you're going somewhere, like one person decides to go to the back of the vehicle, other person tries to go to the front, then someone's waiting. I think you should have a plan or talk about it. Like, when we get out of the car, let's always go to the back. She well, always, always likes go to plan stuff. I like to be spontaneous. And then you add his keys. Then I end up waiting on her. And I just seen this couple like looking for each other, searching. Y'all just came out of the same vehicle. Now you lost. <laughs> Y'all know the only thing I care about is the side of the building we go in. Oh, that's my phone. Oh, my phone. That's fine. So um, I'm I'm headed towards the back, baby. Okay. Um, y'all know. Oh, my keys. Y'all know I'm very particular. Can you put that in my bag? No, that makes me nervous. Can you please put my keys in my bag? You a nervous Nancy, girl. This sun. Here you go. Feels good out here, guys. Feels so good. Feels good, feels good, baby. This has been the most that I've been out, like, in two or three weeks. And I'm already, like... I think I've been out for two hours. I think uh -huh. I got one more hour. That's my max, and I gotta go. And then home. you gotta take a nap to prepare for. I gotta um, lay down. Dinner. I gotta go lay down, guys. I can't do it. Do you want a baby Christmas tree? No. So we're yeah. about to go in the depot. And we'll be back. Hey y'all. So we made it back home. She's eating. Of course, like always. Um and. Actually, as soon as we got home, we wanted to put up the clock. I don't know if you guys can tell, but we actually got the whole house painted. It's a little messy. But um, I actually just got finished put that up by herself. hanging up the clock. And there's our huge ladder that I hate going on. But there it is. It's so pretty. I love it. And this queen oh my goodness. So we have a couple of other things to hang up in the house that I'll probably be doing. Yeah, because she did such a great job. Me, normally I would put several holes in the wall. Oh my goodness, she makes me so upset because she has to put like three holes. Like these pictures, she got so stressed out doing them. You remember that, babe? Mm -hmm. So yeah. So we got the house painted. My goal for this year, I think I've told you guys a couple times, was just to have the house together by the time Baby Brown comes. Your so that's the goal. That she is so tall and it's perfectly in the middle. She said it's perfectly in the mm -hmm. middle? For me, it, it looks a little off. But that could just be my Virgo energy saying that. So yeah, happy campers. So we'll probably show you guys some other stuff that we do. Um, the baby's room is currently in a, like an office. So I need to move my desk out of there. So we're gonna move the desk to the loft area. We're gonna move our flower wall out of her room. So we just have a couple of other things that we need to do. All right, y'all. 
All right, y'all, so we have actually, well, not we, but Sequina is about one nap in. <laughs> Two meals later, we've gotten ready to go to our friend's dinner with our pie and our side items, not from Benihana, just with the Benihana back. So yeah, you don't have anything to say, baby? Hey, oh, you guys can't see us? Guess we're ending the vlog now, huh? Giving it to you. Alright guys, so this will be it. We're out. See you later, Gator. Stay tuned for the next vlog and send all your QA to Love and Labels TV on Insta. DM us and we'll make it happen. Can't wait to read these questions. <laughs> later. <laughs>